Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to create 3D text in Photoshop today. Um, pretty simple. It's not that hard. I'm going to go ahead and open up a big document here so you guys can see my screen. I'm going to do 9 by 7. Let me do it. Alright. Um, first thing you want to do is obviously pick your background color. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do black for this tutorial. I'm going to do white text. Just go ahead and pick your text, what text you're going to be using. I'm going to be using something simple. I don't really feel like getting into it all. <clears throat> go ahead and type out what you're going to do. And go ahead and size your font to whatever you like. Alright, the first step to doing this is you want to rasterize your text letter. So what you're going to do is rasterize your type. And from here on, go ahead to edit, transform, and you want a perspective. So what you're going to do is go ahead and move your left side of it and go ahead and move up. And you can move your right one down. Give you a perspective glare. Alright. From here, you have a little angle perspective view. What you want to do is you want to make sure the layer is clicked. Hit Alt. And then you can do left, right, left, right, top, up, or down on your arrows. And what this does is create different layers. What I'm going to do is go ahead and go to the left 10 times. Alright. Now, what you're going to want to do now is go ahead and click all your copy layers by shift clicking all the layers. Then you're going to want to right click and merge the layers that are clicked. Alright. From there on, take the layer that's not a copy layer and move it above those layers. Alright. Now, what you can do is go ahead and go to the set the, all the copy layers, which is one layer now, and you can go ahead and do like a gradient overlay. Just like so you can see, it kind of add like a little effect back there. You can obviously toy with it, make it a color, do whatever you want. Well, if the front layer, you can go ahead and you can put color on it, or what you can do is go ahead and bevel and emboss it, and go to this one, and play with your settings a little bit. You can kind of toy with it here. Obviously, you know, you could change your colors down here. <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and do black. i do a white one. And you can toy with all your settings, your lights, all that good stuff. And once you find what you want to use, you know, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> But um, just toy with it until you find a setting you like. And right now you basically see we just got basic 3D text. I mean, there's really nothing to it. Just mess with it. It's all about personal choice and personal uh, what colors you want, how you want it beveled, and so forth. The basic effect is doing the perspective view and then your gradient overlay by copying all the layers and making it one layer. And you have your 3D effect. If you have any questions or comments... Um, let me know, and um, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.